Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome to my Unreal Engine 4 Level Design Essential series. In today's video we are going to be giving you a run through how you can set up your very first project within Unreal Engine 4 and also how you can name, set up and create your first level within that. Now we're not going to be worrying about creating any content for our level or anything like that. We are simply just going to be focusing on creating the, la uh, the level, structuring the project and all of that good stuff. However, before I can go any further with that, I need to give you a rundown on the Epic Games launcher, what it does, and also, most importantly, the difference between a project and a level because they are two completely separate things. So what I'm going to do is quickly start off by going over the Epic Games Launcher. Now I'm assuming you guys have already installed the Epic Games Launcher. If you do want to do that and you haven't done it already, just click the link in the description and go from there. Now when you get into the main launcher you'll be confronted with this screen or a screen like this. The most important thing is this launcher is going to allow you to install Unreal Engine 4 and then create a project from within that. So you've got your tabs on the left hand side, Community, Learn, Marketplace and also your library. Now the most important ones that you're going to be using are your library and your marketplace. So your library is going to show you all the projects that you've got already the engines that you've got already, and also asset packs that you have got in your vault. Now the engines are essentially just, you know, versions of your engine. So you can see here, I've got 4.1, 4.17, 4.16 and 4.8. From here you can install the latest version of the engine. For me, that is 4.18. If you want an older version, for example, you just go up here, add version and then you just choose one from the drop down and hit install. Now throughout this series we're going to be using 4.18.1 however you will be able to follow along with a later version and you will have no problems. Now one thing that I'm going to say is go ahead and open up the engine from here. This is going to take a little while to open up so just let this run in the background for now and what I am going to do is go through my projects here. Now, my projects are essentially video game packages that I've created already. These video game packages, or projects rather, are going to contain a whole bunch of assets and a whole bunch of levels. And these levels and these assets aren't going to be something that I can just open from project to project. These projects are done and made and structured in a way that they can be a little bit more organized. So I can have assets for my RPG game in my RPG project, and then I can have assets for my FPS game in my FPS tutorial project, and so on and so forth. It's as simple as that. These projects are essentially different games, and then within these projects you're going to have all of the files and the levels associated for those within. Now at the bottom here you can see that I've got my vault and this is essentially asset packs or you know learning examples that I've downloaded previously from the marketplace that I can use to create a project or add to a project that I've got already. So for example you can see here Infinity Blade Adversaries is something that I could add to a project that I've got already. And if you guys don't have these projects or these content samples and stuff already, they are really easy to find and download. All of this is done from within the marketplace, which is on the left hand side. Just click marketplace in the little tab sheet. And then from there, you can see you can purchase asset packs. You can see we've got some featured ones here. However, there is also a bunch of free ones which you can find from Epic Games. Now, not many of them are free, but the quickest and the easiest way to get to them is just search for the ones you want. So I know the Infinity Blade ones are going to be free, so I'm just going to go to the top right, search Infinity Blade, and you can see the ones that press uh, that say owned. For you guys, it's going to say free if you haven't downloaded it already. Now, if you go over to the Learn tab, give it a couple of seconds to load up, and you can see we've got a bunch of sequence, uh, sorry, content samples in here 
that we can use. So for example, I could use the sequencer demo. If I just click this, give it a couple of seconds to load up, I can then create a project using that. Now I'm going to let this to be something that you guys explore. What I am going to do is pause the video for a second and move on to creating a project once the engine has loaded up. Okay, so now that we're moving on, we have got our Unreal Engine project browser open up. Now, if you remember when I pressed 4.1.8 and press launch, this is how I get this up. From within here, I can open up an existing project that I've got already. Now, bear in mind, all of these are greyed out. And the reason why they are greyed out is because they were made in an earlier version of the engine. If you had one that was open in, you know, 4.1 point, uh, sorry, in 4.18, you could just open this up. But for now, what I'm going to do is show you how to create a new project. Just go over to the new project tab and then from within here, you can choose either a blank project or you could also choose one of the examples. So for example, you could go for the flying project, the puzzle project, the rolling project or the side scroller project. And what these are essentially doing is giving your project or your game a base plate to work with. So with this base plate, you can see on the side scroller example, I have got a character that can move left or right and it also has a camera positioned off to the side. And this is gonna be the main functionality for our game. And then from there, all we need to do is just build our level designs around that and any additional mechanics. Now, I'm not gonna be worrying about all the fancy stuff, just focusing entirely on level design. So having said that, I am just going to use a simple third person template for this. And that's just going to give us a character that can run around, walk left, forwards, right, and, you know, just move around the camera as well. Now, before you choose one of these, you are going to have the option of using a blueprint template or a C++ template. Now, what these are, are they are essentially both programming languages. C++ is going to be actual written code, whereas C++ uh, whereas Blueprints is visual scripting. It's all node-based and it's a lot more beginner-friendly. Now, throughout this tutorial, I'm just going to use the Blueprint one as C++ isn't going to be something that we're going to be touching up on as part of the level design series. C++ is going to be something that we'll be covering later on as part of a programming series. But without further ado, let's go ahead and move on and create that project. Down here, desktop or console. From here, you can choose your target platform. Do you want it to be high quality for the desktop or for the mobile? For me, I'm gonna work with desktop and I'm also gonna choose maximum quality. And I'm also going to include my starter content. So it gives us a couple of tables, chairs and stuff like that, that we can work with to start creating our level designs. So instead of having nothing for the level, I can just click, drag and drop some tables, chairs, lights, and that kind of stuff into our game. Select a location down here. You can type it in or choose it pressing this button. But most importantly, just give it a name and I am just going to call this Unreal Essentials. Now, if you guys want to download my whole project, you can do that. Just go ahead and click the link in the description to go to my website to download any resources. And the project itself is going to be available to all of my Patreons. Once again, the link for that is going to be in the description. So create your project and this is going to take a little while as it's got to most importantly load up the level editor, but it's also got to create a bunch of files around your project. And then from there, we can start to create our very first level within Unreal Engine 4. So give it a couple of seconds and we'll move on to the next step. 
Okay, so our main level editor is now open and we are inside of our first project. Now, this level editor and this user interface is going to be something we are going to be going over in a bit more detail in the next video. However, the most important thing that you need to know for now is that this big screen here in the middle is essentially your viewport and your way of looking at your level. Now, what I'm going to quickly do before I end off the video and we move on to the next one is I'm going to show you how to create a new level and how to save that level. So if you go up to the top, file, and then go to new level, it's gonna let you create a new level. Now you've got a couple different types. You've got default level, which is gonna give you a basic sky, basic lighting, and that good stuff. VR basic, if you're working with virtual reality, so like the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive, if you don't have virtual reality or anything like that, just ignore this one. And then you also have the empty level, which has no lights, no sky, nothing like that. It's just completely black and it's going to be a fresh canvas. So you can just choose from any one of those by just going up to file, new level, and then just choosing one. Now, if you want to save this level, it's really simple. Just go to file and then from there, just go to save current and then this is going to allow you to give your level a name. I'm just going to give this name um, essentials first level and then I'm going to press save and that is it. We have saved and we have created our very first level within Unreal Engine 4, which is great. Now, one other thing you might want to do is open an existing level, which can be done by going to file open level and then from here you can navigate through your content browser and just select a level you've made already. Now that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in today's video. I'm not going to worry too much about the user interface as we're going to be dedicating a whole video to that which you can check out in just a moment. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.